Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do pitch bending in an audio sample. So first thing you want to do is have an audio sample. This is my one. And to bring up the edit window, you just double click on the colored bar. And over in the algorithm section, change that to complex. And then you want to go to the envelope section by clicking on it. Transposition modulation on the drop down menu. And once you have that, you'll see all these uh, increments come up. That's plus 12 semitones, minus 12 semitones. That's the exact same signal, just an octave up or octave down. Uh, you can actually scroll up so you can get more semitones and more octaves up and down. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to go an octave higher. So to create the, automa the automation, you want to highlight the area you want to affect. With your cursor, go over to the red line until it turns blue. Essentially, you could just put markers in individually, but that's going to be not accurate for this for the whole section that I want to snap it into. So I'm going to highlight that grade, that area there, snap it up. Delete the first marker, depending which way you want to go. Either you want to go up or down, you can just delete the markers. So back again, hovering over the red line until it turns blue, click and drag up. Delete the first marker, and now let's listen to it. Uh, essentially, you could do the other. You could go the other direction as well. Just go down in pitch, and that's how you do pitch bending in audio.